Hello everybody, welcome to another directed draw. Today we're going to be drawing shells. So, to warn you, this might be a long video just because I'm going to be doing about nine different shells in this one video. Um, I'll see if I can find the time frames for each one if you want to only try to draw a specific shell out of the nine ones that I'm doing. Um, it'll be easier for you to find it on the little scroll bar and you can just do that or you can just scroll through as we go. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing the seashell, the front of the seashell. So I'm going to zoom in on this box. Okay. Remember we're sketching it out meaning we're going to do it lightly and then you guys can trace it with a pen or marker afterwards. So right in the middle of my paper, um, also before we start, if you want to try drawing all of these on one sheet of paper, try to draw them kind of small. Don't draw them too big. Okay, so right in the middle of the paper, I'm going to draw the letter V, but I'm going to make it kind of wide. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go up. So I'm making the letter V, but usually a V is kind of like that, right? But this one is wider. Let's go ahead and do that. Then from here, I'm going to close the V with a curve. So I'm going to go up, 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 and curve down and connect. Next I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to draw two kind of triangular shapes. So I'm going to start here and go out like that and then I'm going to connect it to the corner. Okay. Same thing on the other side. You're going to go out and come back in. We're actually almost done. This is the easiest one. Well, maybe second easiest. Then from here, you're going to be drawing a line straight up to the other side of the curve. Then you're going to go back down to that point and you're going to do a few more lines. So we're going to go up, up, And there you have a shell. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more fancy, I'm going to erase, whoops, my eraser's a little too big. I'm going to erase this line. All the way across. So all we have left are the straight lines that we drew. Then I'm going to start over here and I'm going to close it with a curve. Same thing again on the next one, closing it with a curve. Closing with a curve all the way around. Okay. If you want to add a little more, what you can do is I like to go down here. I'm going to draw a curve and go in, curve and go in. Okay. If you add one on one side, you're going to add another to the other side. Ta -da! And then I'm going to go ahead and erase these lines. And then I'm going to fix this line. And there you have it. You have your own shell. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. It's the same shell, but you're looking at it from the side. So this one is kind of like the one that I drew in the uh, submarine directed draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go up and down. So you can see that this right here, don't draw this line, and here, these are at two different heights, right? Two different levels. They're not on the same line. So if I drew this across, 
this one's going to be higher. Okay. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to draw the back ridge of the shell. But I'm going to stop right here. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to this end and draw another curve. Actually, make it a little longer. There we go. Then I'm going to go back and do another one that's shorter. And then another. And maybe one more. Okay. So it kind of looks like a lopsided rainbow. Then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to, you guessed it, close it with a curve. Okay. Then I'm going to go here and close this line with a curve. And I'm going to do that all the way around until I finish closing everything with a curve. Okay. Then I'm going to go back here. And I'm actually going to start about right there. And I'm going to draw a line out diagonally, curve it around, and connect. Okay. And then I can draw some lines in the middle. And there you have your sideways seashell. Okay. So that's half of one. The next one is a pointy shell. So there's two different kinds that I'll show you. Um, let's see. And then also, if I'm going too fast, you can always go back and rewatch it, pause it. You know what to do. All right, the first shell. Um, I'm going to draw a curve here and another curve kind of further away like that. Then from here on the bottom, I'm going to close it with a curve. Okay. Then I'm going to go back up here and I'm actually going to make this one a little bit higher than the other side. Then from this side, I'm going to connect it with a curve, but I'm going to go I'm going to make this a little bit higher. Okay. Then going from here, I'm going to do another curve that's short. And then from here, we're going to do a longer curve going up. Okay. And then going back to this line, you're going to close it with a curve that's going up diagonally. Okay. So that's the second part of our shell. Then I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to do another short line up and then a longer one up here. And up and close with a curve. So you're, keep, you're going to keep on doing this. And every time you're going to get smaller and smaller. And sometimes if you do this line a little too high, it's going to start going that way, and we don't want it to curve. We want it to go straight up. So I'm going to erase that, and I'm going to redraw that like this. I'm going to erase this line. I'm going to draw another smaller one like that. And you can also shorten this line as you go up. That way it'll um, go straight up. Shorten and up. Short and up, short, up. Whoops, see that one was too long. And then the last one is going to be an upside down V. So it's like a point. Okay, so there is one kind of pointy shell. Another way to draw this is you can do a squiggly line that gets shorter like that and then all you do is you connect these lines like that that actually looks more like a ribbon or paper that's kind of wavy but here let's try that again so remember i'm doing this with you guys i'm kind of 
trying to think of this in my head and try to show you the best method. Um, let's actually do this. Draw an upside down letter V and then you're going to close it. Then you're going to go out a little bit on both sides. I'm going to make this side a little bit longer and go up. So basically we're just doing the reverse of what we did here. Okay. So out, curve up and close. Curve, go up and close with a curve. Curve down, go up and close with the curve. Okay. So it kind of looks like a unicorn horn. So you can kind of do that too. So basically one side is like this and the bottom is curved up like that. And when you close it, it kind of looks like a funny squashed D shape. All right, so those are my super pointy shells. I'm going to zoom back out and we're going to go to number four. This is another easy one. If you know how to draw a spiral, then you can draw a round shell. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to go up, around, down, up, around, down. And as I'm curving around, I'm going out a little more so there's more white space. And I'm going to keep going out until I reach the size of the shell that I want. And then I'm going to go out like this. And then I'm going to close it with a curve. And you can leave it like that. Or you can go back up like this so it looks like there's a little hole. The other thing you can do with this shell, let me move this a little bit so it's in the center. The other thing you can do with this shell is you can draw some lines so it looks like it's been cut in half. So to do that, I won't have this line right here. Whoops, not that line. This one. So if I want to cut it in half, I'm not going to have that line. So then I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I'm going to draw some lines that are close together. And then as I go out, they're going to become wider, the spaces. So I'm going to draw my lines a lot further away from each other as I go out. Okay. So you could do that as well. Okay. So let me do that again. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this one and paste it. All right. So here's that one, and then I will draw those lines again. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like. Okay. And then let's see. Let's go back here and erase this line. This one won't have that one. All right. So now we can go on to our spotted shell. So what you're going to do is you're going to start. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to curve up. Whoops. Let's make this a little bigger. I'm going to curve up. Go up, curve, come back down, and curve in like that. OK? 
Okay, so it's kind of like an egg shape tilted to the side and it's curved on the bottom. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and I'm going to close it like that. Then go back to this line, that curved line you made right here. And then you're going to go in, out, in, out. But it's going to be like a wavy kind of curve. And you're going to go all the way up, but not to the end. You're going to stop right there. Then you're going to come back down here. You're going to do the same exact kind of wiggly line. And it's a little bit bigger up on this side. So then you're going to close it like that. Okay. Then these little teeth have little lines. So everywhere you see a part that's going down, you're going to put a teeth, like a line right there. Okay. So you're going to do that all the way around. Ta -da. And then, because it's spotted, you're going to put some spots. And then, when you're on the edge right here, you're going to do half spots because it's going over to the other side. Okay. Just put a bunch of spots everywhere. And there you have it. There's your spotted shell. All right, the next one is a sand dollar. So these are pretty cool. I've never found one at the beach. I know some people sometimes can find them at the beach. But these are flat little creatures. And they have all these little, um, they kind of look fuzzy. But they have these little um, feet or like tentacle kind of things that are sh really short. So it looks like it's uh, like felt. But they kind of eat all the plankton and little algae and things as they go along the bottom. But they are round. So we're going to do a circle. But good news, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And it can be kind of... Um, like, uh, what do you say? How do you say it? Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It can be a little wavy around the edges. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to go around. And you see how it's kind of a little bit like wavy or bumpy, I should say. But you're going to try to make this into a full circle. Like that. Okay. The next part of this is, it has a few um, holes, so we're going to do five little holes, but they're not round. They're kind of oval shaped. So the first one I'm going to put right here, and you're going to start here at the edge, go down, and up and connect. Next one goes here. Up, down, and around. The next one goes right here. Okay, right here. And up here. All right. Then it has kind of like a flower type shape. And how you draw that, I'm just going to do a circle right here, right in the middle. And then we're going to do some curves. So I'm going to start here and curve and stop. Then go back up right next to it and do the same thing. Curve down and stop. Then they have another line right inside. That's the same shape, so you're just going to outline it the exact same way, okay? So 
Then we're gonna go right here. You're gonna curve and stop, curve and stop. Okay, I'm just gonna do the basic curves all the way around and then I'll show you the insides. So there's one that goes here like that. And then these go in here like this. Whoops, that one's a little too close. Start. And turn my paper. Go like this. So it almost looks like a flower. And then I'm going to draw the two lines on the inside. And there you have your sand dollar. How pretty is that? It's so easy. So we've gotten through six different shells now. So the next one that I'm going to do, these are the last three. We're going to do an open clam shell, a conch shell, and an abalone. The conch shell is a little bit more advanced, but I think you guys can do it. Okay, so the open clam shell. This is what I'm going to do. We're going to put a pearl in the middle of it. So we're going to draw that pearl first. Whoops. Whoops. Hmm. Okay. I'm having some technical difficulties. Thank you for your patience. All right. So I'm going to draw a circle right in the middle. And then from here, I'm going to do a line out and a line out from this side. Okay, so it kind of looks like a V shape. I'm going to make this one a little bit straighter. There we go. And then you're going to close it with a curve. Even curve. There we go. Okay. Then from here, we're going to draw a curved line. So we're going to do and it's going to be kind of flat, curve like that. Okay. Then starting from this end or this end, whichever end, you're going to go down and down and then kind of full, mm, flatten it out a little bit like that, but it's still curvy. It's a flat curve. Then from here, you're going to draw a straight line back. Same thing on this side. Straight line back. Okay. It's kind of looking like a shell. So the next step is we're going to do some U shapes, upside down U shapes. So when you draw a umbrella, you have these upside down U shapes like this, right? And then your lines, right? Like that. So we're going to be drawing these shapes right here. So erase that. We're going to start from here and we're going to go down, curve up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're just following the outside curved line, up and down, and up and down, okay? And I'm actually going to extend this side and go down, same thing over here, go down a little bit, and then I'm going to draw the line again and connect it, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and erase this line
like so. And then I'm going to connect lines from here to the pearl. So we're going to go down, down, down. Okay, like that. Same thing on the bottom, except it's going to be just regular U's, right? So I'm going to start at, at this corner. We're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way across. Okay, and then erase all the lines that you don't need. And then you're going to connect these lines to the bottom of the shell. Okay. I'm going to go back and fix these lines. All right. So I'm going to start here at this point and I'm going to curve, but I'm going to curve at an angle except for the one in the middle and go like that. And then I will curve that outside line a little bit like that and erase actually I'm going to erase these and redo it for you okay curve 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 all right I'm going to actually add one more curve over here and go down with a curve, curve, and curve. Okay. And then I'm going to attach some more curves right there. And then let's go ahead and do the curves on the top half. So this line I'm going to connect like that. So go ahead and you actually erase this top line. Okay. Again, if I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause the video. Then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to do another curve and close. Curve and close, curve and close, curve and close. And then right next to this line, we're going to do a curve. So starting from here, I'm going to curve it out and close it. Curve it out and close it. Okay. And then if you want, you can draw the lines down here like that. And there you have your shell with your pearl. And if you want your pearl to be shiny, all you have to do is add a line here and a little dot. And it's shiny! Alright, nice job guys. So, the conch shell. This is a little bit more advanced. Um, let's see. So the first thing I want you to do is we're going to start right here. We're going to draw a pointy V like that. Then like the other one, I'm going to extend this side of the V so it's a little bit longer. And then I'm going to close it with a curve to the top. So this is going to be the pointy top of the conch shell. Then I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to, oops, too big. I'm going to do a short curve here and then another short curve and connect with a curve. So it's kind of like the pointy shells that I showed you earlier. And you're doing the exact same thing. Then I'm gonna go down a little bit more than before, like that, and then close it with a curve.
Then from this point, I'm going to go down and out. And then on this side, same thing, we're going to go down and out, but it's going to be shorter. Then from this side, we're going to curve it around so it looks like a letter V. Same thing over here, curve it around. And then you're going to go down like this, the curve. I'm going to go short curve over here. And then you're going to go in and down. So it's like a number seven. Okay. From this side, I'm going to go down a little bit more. And then you're going to start curving all, whoops, go down curve out and then come in and down like that and then kind of round it on the bottom and close it then I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw a curved line following the outside and do this then I'm going to go back up here, and then we're going to draw another curved line and close it. And then from that point, we're going to draw a line straight down like that. Okay. And then right here, we're going to draw another V shape. So we're going to go out and in like that. And then I'm going to do another one right here. Go out and in. Another one here. Out and in. Okay. And then I'm actually going to put one back here. And then it's going to be a short one like that. Okay. You can put another one right here if you want. Let's see how that's that'll look. Okay. And I think I'm going to add one more right here. Ta-da. Okay. So, I'm actually going to change this line. I'm going to go in and straight up. So, I'm going to erase that. And do that. Okay. So then you can add more of these kinds of spikes to it along this line. So I'm going to go ahead and do one right here, like that, and like that. And I'm going to go all around that line and do a few more. Same thing on the top one, except as you go up higher, they get smaller. Okay, and then here you can add, actually don't add the lines. I'm going to go ahead and erase this line right here and this one and this one. Okay, and there you have your conch shell. Kind of looks like a conch shell, a little bit. Okay, and then you can add lines down here if you want, like that, or even like spirally, like that. You can do the opposite spiral up here. So there you have your conch shell. Now the last one is going to be the abalone shell, and this one's kind of easy. So we're going to start right in the middle, and I'm going to draw an oval like this. Okay. Then I'm going to put my pencil right here, 
on the inside. And we're going to do another line like that. Okay. Then, starting right here, we're going to draw some circles. So I'm going to do a big one right here. Whoops. Like that. Another one here. That's slightly smaller. And then I'm going to keep doing a bunch of these little tiny circles, but I'm going to go smaller and smaller and smaller as I go around. Okay. And this could be the top of the abalone shell or the bottom. So actually this is the bottom. So you're looking inside the shell underneath and the inside of the abalone shell is a bunch of like pearly rainbow colors. Um, if you want to do the outside, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the oval. And you'll do the little circles going on the outside like this. And then on the edge of the circle, you're just going to go like that because these little circles are raised. They look like little volcanoes. So they're kind of like that. And then it's bumpy on the outside. So you can do a little squiggly lines like this. And so that can be the outside of the abalone shell. And there you have it. So we've done nine different types of shells. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to be an expert on these. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and following along. Make sure you take a picture of any of the drawings that you do and tag me on Instagram at doodles with Miss C and I'll be able to see them and I'll post them on our Instagram if you send them to me. So thanks again for joining. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!